Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So I had an interesting conversation with a co-worker who had an interview at Amazon and so one of the questions that they asked them was to find the missing number and that's what we're going to do here in this program today. So first thing I'm going to do is write a few comments here what the program does. It's going to call it find the missing number. All right. And I put a, there we go, slash slash for comments. So let's uh, see what the problem is. So the problem says that we are given a list of, we'll go with n minus one integers. And these integers are in the range of 1 to n. Okay? And there are no duplicates in the list. Now, one of the integers is missing in the list. And what we want to do is we want to write an efficient code uh, to find the missing integer. And what do we mean by efficient? Um, by efficient, we mean in big O of n time. All right. So now I'm going to give an example here. Uh, we are the input we're given an array so something like one two four six three seven and eight okay so we see that this is an array of size uh, one two three four five six seven right so I'm just gonna put in here in the comment an array of size 7 and that's because 7 is equal to 8 minus 1 so our value uh, n equals 8 all right and now we want to output the the missing element or the missing integer and that would be the integer value 5. How do we know this? Because in the uh, directions here it says, let me go up here, integers are integers are in the range of 1 to n. So that means that we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 because n is equal to 8. So we're missing a 5 here. We have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, we don't have 5, we have 6, we have 7, and 8. All right, so let's go ahead and get the coding now, now that we kind of understand that. So um, we're going to, I guess we're going to use some functions. So let me go ahead and create the main function first. Just setting it up. And let's create our function after we call our library. So we're going to use the stdio.h library. And now let's create our function. Um, we will say, we'll call it get missing number. And it takes an array and the size of the array as arguments and returns the missing integer. All right. So let's see here. So we're going to return an integer. So I need int here. I'm going to call it get missing number. OK, and it's going to take in an integer array. We'll call it a. And it's going to take in an integer size. We're just going to call it n, because n will be our size. 
All right. I'm just going to copy this here. And paste it down below. All right. So for now, I need it to return some integer value. We're just going to return zero for now. And to make sure that uh, everything is syntactically correct, I'm just going to go ahead and run the program here. To make sure that we don't have any uh, compiling issues. All right, perfect. OK, so. Now we need to actually fill this out here, this uh, function that we just created. So how's the algorithm going to work? Well, let's go ahead and write that here. OK, so I'm going to put how the algorithm works. Well, one, we're going to get the sum of the numbers and the array all right and we also need to well yeah we we need to get the sum of all of the possible numbers in the array so it may sound the same, but it's not. So here we have our array. I'm just going to copy this here and paste it down here. So I want to get the sum of this. So here I'm going to put example. Uh, that array would equal, the sum of that would be 1 plus 2 plus, uh, and save some space, I'm just going to put them together like this, plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus 7 plus, plus 3 plus 7 plus 8. And this gives us, if I'm doing my math right, let's see, um, 10, 13, 16, uh, 31, I, th I believe. Uh, let me make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Uh, 3, 7, 10, 16, and then we have 24, 31. Okay. Now, uh, the actual sum of the array, I'm going to put an example here, should be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus... So oh, that's it. Okay, and this of course should equal 36. We just add five on to our previous calculation. Okay, and then what we can do is subtract all um, all the the possible numbers with the sum of the numbers in the array. Okay, and then that would give us our missing number. So now a question should be, well, how do we know the sum of every possible number? Well, there's a nice little formula here. And we're just gonna call it total. So we're gonna say total is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so not too bad. And so here for our example, uh, oh, I guess I, we should call this right here sum, something like that. We'll say the sum is equal to 31 here. And then the total here is equal to 36. And so now in our example, we're going to basically do um, 36 minus 31, which equals 5. And what that means is we're basically going to take that total and we're going to subtract the sum and then we get our missing value. Okay. And maybe I just call it miss, you know, for missing value. Missing value. Make sure I put it there. 
Okay, so that's basically how this is going to work. Not too bad. And let's go ahead and get started coding finally. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, need some variables to loop through the loop through the for loop because we're going to need to loop through all the elements. So we're going to choose integer i. We're going to need a variable called total. And we probably could use a variable called sum. Probably don't need it, but we got it anyways, just in case. OK, so total total is going to equal our n times n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And now let me make sure that that's correct, though, because the size of our array is actually n minus 1. So when we put in the size of our array here, we're going to it's going to be n minus 1. So I need to add 1 to our uh, equation here. So I'm going to plus 1. Oops. All right, and then we're going to have a plus one here, which of course is just uh, n plus two. Okay, so this should give us our total. Now let's go ahead and loop through every single value in the array or every single element. So for i equals zero, i is going to be less than um, less than n, right? Not less than or equal to, but less than n because we're going to be 0, 2, uh, n minus 1. And then i is going to increment by 1. All right. Now we can take our, we can maybe create a sum here. So we say sum uh, plus equals uh, the array at position i. And right now, sum doesn't have a value, so I need to give sum a value of 0 so we can add all those uh, elements together. And then what we're going to return is the total minus the sum. Okay? And that should basically be it. So let's go ahead and go back up to our main function. And let's create our array. So integer, we'll call it a. And it's going to be equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So the element that we're missing here is actually 3. And then we're going to have a variable. We're going to call it miss. And we're going to set it equal to our function. So get missing number. And that function, of course, takes in our array A and takes in the size of the array which um, the size of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a variable. I'm just going to call it size and set that equal to 5. And then just make this size here. OK. And now all we want to do is print the missing uh, integer, which is miss. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. All right, and it might be hard for you to see, but we get back three right here. Maybe I make this, nah, I guess that doesn't help. So it looks like it's working, though. We get back three here. Let's try our example that we had. So here we have one, two, four, six, three, seven, and eight. Let's put that here. And our size was seven. And let's run that. And let's see if we get back uh, five as our output. All right, and we do. I get back five right up here. 
All right, so thank you guys. I hope this was a um, a good, fun uh, video to practice. And please let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave any questions you have, uh, comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will be sure to put this on my GitHub so you can get the code yourself. It's only a few lines, a little like about 50. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.